Yo, what's cracking, everyone? I am Mr. Former Simpson. Thank you for tuning in once again. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to subscribe for more performance reviews. And with that said, let's take a look at the Jordan 30. As far as the fit goes, they do run a little snug, more so than the 29, and they do take a little while to break in. Personally, I would not size up though. They don't run that snug unless you have wide beat, then you'll definitely have to, but these were built to really hug your foot, so keep that in mind. The support and lockdown are excellent. They use the performance woven upper mixed with fly knit, and man, I love it. It's not restrictive at all, but still provides great support and security on court. The ankle collar and interior padding also help with the support and lockdown. Oh, and real quick, I have no idea why, so I'm not gonna pretend to know, but that interior padding is a little uncomfortable at first. When you actually play in them and sweat in them, they feel awesome. The lacing setup is love also, because you're able to really lace them tight without it pinching any nerves or feeling uncomfortable at all. And another thing I like is the textured insoles because your foot doesn't slip around at all. A plus. The cushioning is great. It's the same setup as the 29. Flight plate technology really allows you to tap into that unlock zoom in the forefoot and yet still have a great court feel. The traction is phenomenal. I've probably played in these for about 30 hours already. Clean courts dusty courts, outdoor courts, and the traction was top notch everywhere. The breathability is okay. Not as good as the 29 probably. I didn't really notice it that much to be honest. I didn't feel my feet getting hot. It just wasn't an issue, which is all I need. As long as my feet don't feel like they're in a microwave, I don't really care. Overall, I love this sneaker. It's basically a juiced up version of the Jordan 29. If you like the 29, you will like these. If you didn't, then you won't. It's that simple. I said the 29 was the best basketball sneaker of all time performance wise. And guess what? These are a little bit better. That's right, these are even better than the 29. I think the improvements in support and lockdown give it the edge. This is just a complete sneaker, lightweight, flexible, great support, lockdown, court feel, impact protection. These things are absolute monsters. And at 200 bucks, they're even cheaper than the 29. Final verdict, five out of five foamies. The Jordan 30 is unwittable. The end. Oh, <laughs>